Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome! Hey guys, doing? Today we're gonna be discussing with you what is my favorite content playing Star Rail. There's a lot of things to do in the game. There's story, there's gear, which I don't like. There's so many other good modes that are in the game that we're gonna be talking about. Let's get right into the video. Alright, so, when you go to the menu, you have your Simulated Universe, which is actually my favorite content in the game. I really like doing Simulated Universe a lot. Every time we just, like, unlock a new world, just, it was fun, just facing Chipard, then, like, Kokolia, then going to Kafka, all these bosses, it was fun facing them. It was fun taking different paths to be the boss, that, like, it was fun. Once you complete it, and then you just farm it weekly, um, just to get the relics. I hope they change how you farm the relics from the simulated universe. If you really don't want to go through the whole thing, just to farm it, if it's just going to go to beat the boss straight away, that would be nice, but we will see. You also have the normal mats that you would need. You can also get it from the battle pass. I don't usually recommend doing that unless you're building all the characters, so it's up to you. That's also mats. That's mats, and you have the gear farming. Every Genshin and like Mihoyu player just always dedicate all their energy just for farming gear, and then they say the game is boring. I just hate farming gear and blah 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 blah. I actually don't farm gear. I'm right now playing the game since day one, and have probably all the character except Topaz. Don't have that much gear on my inventory. Um, <laughs> I didn't farm gear at all. So, the thing is, I just farm gear when we have double rate. That's it. The rest, I just craft it. I don't even touch... Like, I never use my stamina on the gear stages. Or relics, whatever you call it. I feel like people who dedicate all their energy to gear... Yes, they will have better gear than mine, 100%. But do you really need it to beat the content or like enjoy the game? No. <laughs> no, not even the right set also. You, like, you might just run a random set and it will still work. You can run a musketeer set in most of the DPSs and it will work fine. So, just enjoy the game. Just play the content that you like. feel like you might like, but you just want to go farm gear. Don't do that. Don't waste, like, don't waste all the energy here. Yes, it can be good, of course, but you still will get enough gear just by doing the double rates to energy, so you're just gonna be fine. <laughs> the weekly, just don't care much about it. For Garden Hole, this is where the challenge goes. Um, Swarm Disaster actually on release, we felt like, oh, this is end game, but with Swarm Disaster, you're just gonna keep playing and just farm all the buffs until you get there, be able to beat it easily. But Memory of Chaos, it's actually really, really fun. Especially after 1.6, we're gonna have so much content to do. The new Memory of Chaos stages, the new Simulated Universe, this is all gonna be fun. Like, this is what I like. Uh, also, with every planet, I think we're gonna have a special uh, Forgotten Hole, which is also challenging, especially stage 6. This, is, this was really hard to beat. So, yeah. Uh, I just showed all the content in the game, what I like, what I don't like. I don't like farming relics, I think it's boring. I understand where people are coming from when they say this is boring content. Yes, 100%. There are other things to do. There are more challenging stuff to enjoy. So, yeah. I just wanted to make this video for anyone trying... Going to try story after the game of the awards. And yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you guys again for watching. I'm trying to hit 600 subscribers before 2024, so if you like daily Star Rail content, consider leaving like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, stay safe, and bye!